Good morning students. Today we will go through the fourth video in the series How to Write Literature Review, Weakness of a Literature Review. There are so many things we have to keep in mind while writing a literature review. Okay. What are the common weaknesses? In writing a literature review, at the beginning, researchers make the following common errors. Okay. First error is that the presentation is a description of various studies. Okay. Just describe various studies without an effort to show how the studies are related to the main aim and the research question of the proposed research. So you, you are doing a literature review to justify the need for a research, right? So you have to describe various studies done on the topic and link it to your proposed research. How you have to link? Okay, so my research may add more information or so my research will fill that gap. Okay, many studies are done in other parts of the world. Not many studies are done in this part of the world. So my study will fill that gap. Okay, many studies are done on complications of diabetes mellitus, but not many studies focus on ophthalmic complication. So we are focusing on it. So my study will fill that gap. Understood? So you have to link the other other research finding with your proposed research. Okay. So what is the error? The presentation is a mere description of various studies without an effort to show how those studies are related to the main aim and the research question or proposed research. That is your research. Then second error. Second error or second weakness is the presentation is mere a listing of studies without an attempt to show how each study is similar or different to each other. So, you know, so that's why in the previous video we have told you have to write a literature review under subheadings. First, maybe about ophthalmic complications of diabetes. So all studies on ophthalmic complication will be described under that subheading. Second, maybe uh, neurological complications of diabetes. All studies done on neurological complications should be mentioned under that sub subheading. Third will be cardiovascular complication of diabetes. So all studies done on myocardial infarction, silent myocardial infarction, cardiac failure, all these things related to diabetes will be focused under that. And so you have to tell some studies may be similar to each other, some studies may be not similar to each other. That also should be mentioned. Presentation is mere a listing of studies without an attempt to show how each study is similar or different to each other. So you have to use some words, connecting words, like however, a study done in uh, Singapore showed a different finding. On the other hand, a study done in New Zealand showed another finding. Similarly, a study done in uh, Malaysia showed a similar finding. Okay, but there are some knowledge gap or something like that. So you have to have some connection words between the findings. Okay, between the findings from multiple studies. So how you can solve it? You have to do the studies, arrange the studies under subheadings. You have to group similar findings together then not similar findings together. There should be some connection word between showing the similarity or showing the dissimilarity. Then third weakness is actually poor citation. So in literature review, I told you each of the studies should be properly cited. You have to mention the author name, 
and the year of publication as in site citation, in text citation. Then at the end of the literature review, you have to give the reference. Okay, that is uh, in education, it is normal practice to adopt the format proposed in the manual published by the APA, that is American Psychological Association Manual. Okay, so please follow that format. So when you are uh, searching for article in Google Scholar or in PubMed, there will be a box there, Cite. When you click Cite, you can download the citation in APA format. Okay, or Vancouver format, whatever format you want. The literature is hurriedly reviewed. Okay, the, the, some, you have to take time and do a literature review, right? And don't rely too much on secondary sources. Secondary sources can be included, but not too much on secondary sources. If you are seeing a literature review or systematic review, and there are 50 articles are quoted there, so you go to each of those 50 articles and try to get the original article and quote it. Okay, so don't rely fully on secondary sources. Secondary sources may have some mistakes. So primary source means uh, the chance of mistake will be less. So you are going and reading the primary source and quoting it. And you know, secondary source means just looking at citation inside an article. Okay, that is not good. You have to download the full text article, PDF file. You go to uh, PubMed Central. You can download the PDF article. Or you go to open source uh, journals. Then you can download the full text articles. They do not read the original work but take someone else's work and cite it as though they had read the primary source. So, you know, the, if you are quoting the secondary source, please give the citation also of the secondary source. Please don't give a citation of primary source and get information from a systematic review article. Okay, if you are giving citation of primary source, Please read the article fully. Then only give the citation of primary source. Okay, understood. Next is actually the copy and paste. That is also not advisable. Students, please don't uh, copy and paste. You just read the article, then write in your own way. Phrase the article, re paraphrase it in your own way and give the reference. Don't copy and paste from the original article and put the reference. That is not advisable. You must read original article and know in detail every study that you cite. Phrase the sentences in your words. That's why in most of the universities, they do a similarity check. Make sure that literature review is, uh, is paraphrased, phrased in your own words. Then, what is the next weakness? They do not critically evaluate the article or reports that they include. So please do critical evaluation of article using the checklist. You can use strong checklist for uh, observational studies like cross-sectional case control or cohort study. You can use cons consort checklist for uh, randomized control trial. Okay, you can use SRQR checklist for qualitative research and so on. You need to critically evaluate the research question, methodology, statistics used, conclusion reach and a recommendation made by the researchers. So you have to critically evaluate all these areas. 10 areas we discussed in the previous video, right? So research question, you have to critically evaluate methodology of the article, 
statistics used is that statistics statistical measure appropriate to test that hypothesis conclusions reached and uh, recommendations made by the researchers okay thank you so much